Grand's mom. Yes, that is what you said. My fault. That's Grand's My mom. fault. <laughs> but talking about pronunciation, we have Zenrai going up against Tega. Coming in here hot. And I'll tell you right now, Zenrai is a... Uh, I don't know if Grand Blue's doing the Grand Blue thing where it's just saying that he has the same stats as Tega, but Master with 6,770. It obviously shows he's about some. Yeah, let's see if they're evenly matched here right now. Tega in this mirror match with Lancelot going crazy, but we immediately sent out the ultimate reversal into the heavy fireball. But we are just mm. mastering on the lights, not going to hold on to any of this pressure. And just like that, Tega taking the first round incredibly quick. I 1,000% uh, believe in that. Whenever a Lance is trying to do that instant air and he's going to do the drop on you uh, and try to and try to mix you, you know he can't press anything out of the sky once you see that animation start. Take it, started mashing. It worked out for him perfectly. Absolutely. Now here, pushed up to the corner. Nice. Using the wall jump to escape. Getting that corner confirmed as well with the wall bounce. All right. On this knockdown, yep. That is the Lancelot special, a.k.a. the Tega special. He still gets the grab after an accidental frame kill. Yeah, whipping Runs that up. raging strike, right? Yeah. But still, mm -hmm. able to the throw here to the other side with the empty low. Ooh, okay. I like this pickup. Nice. What you go? Oh, no. He See, look. He knows he's not going to press anything coming down, so he's just jabbing. Constantly, he's going to get the confirm, and it is going to be enough. And Tega running away with that one. We saw some shining moments from Zenrai. You know, he had a little bit of something in the tank, but Tega just wasn't allowing him to be in full self. Yeah, it's that main thing. Tega, of course, being a Lancelot player himself, just understands where the gaps are, understands where you're allowed to press, right? Zenrai is going to have to play around that now, especially getting hit twice in a row and losing game number one for going for that same setup. We got to bring something else to the table. Yep. Spot dodge on the 6XL is going to lead into a punish. He's not able to press anything afterwards, and that's going to be a lot of damage, but finding his way out of the corner. Zenrai, switch sides. Defense is good from Tega. Ooh, I like that little in and out there with the shimmy. Sends up the ultimate. Yeah, we'll take that trade. You spend a little bit of your meter. I spend one of my BP. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the corner. Welcome to plus frames. He's going to get this. Nice setup, and there it is. Oh, in reversal. I'm not mad at that at all. Zenrai has to give himself a chance to play. Ooh. Puts himself back corner side. Didn't yeah. really get anything off, but there it is. Corner push is happening. Yeah, didn't was able to get a confirm though off of that counter hit on the 6XL. Is gonna get a clean punish here though. All right, going for the Raging Strike just to juggle a little bit more, but we're not going to be able to build up enough meter here to get the kill. Instead, we just go for the set play. FD Jump gets blown up by a 5L. There's one piece that I saw Zenrai recognize, and it is that Tega, once he touches 50 meter, he is going to wake up, which I recognize this. He does do that a lot. The other thing he's not recognizing is stop empty jumping. He's got to fall down with the button because Tega is not going to allow the empty. The jab is going to happen. So we'll see how Zenrai takes his uh, place in the rest of this match coming from this moment, but he doesn't have much time left. He's already down a game. Yeah, I mean, that's three times he's blown up that empty jump with a standing light. But I like it there. Fast fall to the other side. Gets the 6XL into a full confirm on the wall bounce with the EX. We have 100 meter now. Are we going to spend it for a super? No, we go for the reset. Okay. I like the back off, yes! That was a beautiful reversal, but he says right back at you. Tega looking to take control of this round. One BP, two BP Ooh. down for Zenrai reversal. I respect it. You have so much health. Got to be careful, though. Only down to one BP. If you get touched, Tega could easily bring this back, especially because we're so close to getting that SSBA. I ain't going to lie. If he gets over him right here, the next touch. Oh, 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 he didn't confirm it but he can kill the next touch right now. He has no BP and he is going to get punished. Zenrai recognizing his own character and finding a round here against Tega. Yeah, that was a really unfortunate, I won't even say drop, right? We just didn't confirm the hit there, but we definitely could have been able to kill there with the SSBA available still, Tega. Gonna be able to get confirm here. Nice, just wake up buttons, not allowing Tega to gain that ground. I like it a lot. Stop it. Tega's not going for any of that. And I think that that is the recipe for beating Lancelot. If you don't take care of the situations when he's doing fake options, he will maul you. And Tega's not allowing any of that. Got hit by the second portion of the reversal, which is very surprising after all of the matchup knowledge Tega's shown. 
Yeah, just the overhead coming in. You gotta block it standing. But there we go. Tega gonna close out the game here. Into the next match, and I see some Ladiva coming up. Ladiva, Ladiva, Ladiva. It's a love hate relationship here. I love watching this character, and sometimes even when I'm getting comboed, I love it. But when the corner happens, I feel for the player that's fighting her, and I feel for myself. I just can't stand to watch somebody deal with the guessing game that this character creates. But going up against the character on the other end, Fairy, it's just a rough deal. But we already have corner. This is exactly what I was talking about. Yoshi for the win. Yeah, I mean, this is just the quintessential fighting game matchup, right? Zoner versus Grappler here. And yep, combos off the headbutts. Look at the damage. That's it. You're dead. Yep. You were already missing BP. I mean, you probably still would have been dead if you weren't. But yeah, that was a smooth, smooth closeout for Yoshi. Every time I watch a Ladiva, I'm always watching for any new tech, any new strategy. I don't know. We try to go for EX Larry there right at round start. Oh, but GG stopping us short in our tracks. Doesn't matter. We're still pushing right on in. You know, no disrespect to any Ladiva player. I just, I honestly don't see new stuff from Ladivas. I just think one player is just better than the other. I think they all do the same stuff. <laughs> Well, I can tell you, Yoshi's definitely better than me. The patience, the ultimate skill coming out, getting blown up. Full conversion there with the double head, but straight into the lariat. Mm, tried for the overhead, no good. Reversal, get up out of here. The head, but it's Blueski. Slam a jamma. I like that. You got to spin that. You now you have to try to zone back off. Okay, I like it. Spin the super. Yeah. I can even oh block. yeah, you can't block cool. aerial when you're coming down. I like that. It was a lot of chip damage as well, too, right? Just holding there in the skies. And now just trying to slowly close the gaps. All we need is one more touch <gasps> from Yoshi, but it's not going to matter. Iago able to take the round. That was very clean. Very clean. The recognition of, you know, I held you in the air. So that was obviously a thought-out AA setup, right? So you did the super as the jump came out. Did a, You couldn't block on the way down. And then came up and did a high-low mix, even though it was uh, very delayed in between the high and the low caught Yoshi on the final frames after the pet was done. I like it. Sure. Very solid, but right now we're stuck in this movement tutorial, right? Trying to get around these low options, get around the whip, get around GG. It's just so difficult with Ladiva's slow movement speed. Yeah. A rough character, you know, it's a lot of startup frames on the run where some characters just begin dashing instantly. Good defense so far. Caught on the top of the noggin. It's not enough. Super? Yeah. Guy bound, drop kick. Oh, interesting. Not going for the SSBA there, though, in that scenario. Would have done so much more damage and stripped two of the BP. Yeah, yeah. I agree. But at the same time, you know, maybe you felt like you weren't, it wasn't going to work out. I don't know. Possibly Yoshi possibly. knows the character in and out, so there's got to be a reason why we didn't see such. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But now down a game here. Love the JH actually blowing up that extended hurt box, but still. Sent full screen. This is the hardest part for the Diva, is dealing with GG. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Oh my god. Yay, damage. You know what took me a long time to understand is that Ladiva can confirm. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Infill jump take this damage. Bro, the maximum love drop kick there. Alright, back into the noose, but. Yeah, I think I have time to say what I was going to say. I, <laughs> go on, go on. It took me a long time to understand that Ladiva can confirm or convert off of so many things that you don't recognize. So sometimes you're like, oh, that's okay. I got hit by that. And then you get full corner carried for 40, and you're like, no, it's not okay anymore. Yeah, a lot of it is built around that EX headbutt, right? If she can combo into EX headbutt, she can really confirm into a lot. And wow. speaking of headbutts, ultimate headbutt is her 50-meter reversal. What a round there from Yoshi. And it's going to hit the limb for anybody out there that was confused. Fairy's whip is not disjointed, so the limb got hit by the reversal. And uh, that's just not good look. Not a good look for, uh, how do I say his name? Yago? <laughs> Yago, yes. There we go. Oh, the overhead going to hit its mark. Sending out GG in the corner. Oh, falling down with the JH. Because we hit Fairy, we actually got rid of GG. Mm -hmm. 
Very good. No spot dodging. You spend the BP. I'm not mad at that at all. Limb hit again on the jump in. The body splash. He's in the trap out. All right, what we got? He's going to do front side into low. I like it. Yoshi was looking for the uh, instant overhead. And there goes the overhead of his own. Yeah, just a little too far away to get that light SPD. Rough territory, chip territory. Yeah, Beautiful so jump. Scary. Oh my goodness. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. <laughs> Absolutely dead. All we need to do is combo into the uh -huh. super here. And we get the SSBA. Get the ref. One. Two. two and three. three. And there it is. Yoshi able to tie it up 1-1. One, one. You gotta be sick of Furiago, man. Like, those type of L's, they wear on the mental. So going into game three, we're gonna see what Diago has left in the tank after some, what a performance. But man, Yoshi, holding on, holding strong. Look how long we're taking the rematch. That is yeah. obviously some mental damage that happened there. I mean, we, you talked about how strong the Diva is when she puts you into the corner, right? And we've already seen that time and time again. Also, Yoshi utilizing this JH to such strong effect to blow up those normals from Iago. I love the usage of the body splash, for sure. Right now, we're seeing some okay zoning, but man, look at the damage deficit of both players. Like, they're pretty even. Yeah, it's, it's an overhead, an overhead finally long. ready, Yoshi. Drill into the counter hit, very solid stuff. Nice, and absolutely, I like this. Spending the orb, you're gonna get a ton of damage and corner carry, and now it's your turn to smother Ladiva. After the BP usage, it is definitely your turn again. Well, Yoshi has been navigating the limbs very well. We'll see if it happens again. No Empty way. jump low from range, mind you. And the coast, coast the coast. to coast. Oh my god. Elbow drop the insane elbow into the maximum love bomb. Take the mask off. Yeah. Water DP and Yoshi on set point. Oh, I'm going to tell you right now. I saw it. I think you saw it in the whole stream saw it. The reversal was coming. Yoshi able to capitalize on the reversal bait. Bro, push Ladiva for SummerSlam. Uh oh, there it Stop is. It. Counter hit with the 2 H. Nice pressure going on here. Just capitalizing on every option that Yoshi tries to make to get out of this corner. You jump. You're going to get caught. Yep, it, there it is. That's on purpose. I love that. That is a reaction anti air situation. It just makes a guaranteed chip into anti air. I like that play from Yago as he closes out around here. It's 1 1 in round three. Who's coming away with this one? Move forward on the winner's side. Iago made much better adjustments there, right? You want to stay outside of that jump range from Ladiva because you've seen that Yoshi's been going for those empty jumps into the two M's for the lows. If we can just stay right outside of that range, we can take these trades with the JH all day. It's not going to matter. We just have to stay in our effective zone. Exactly. The trades are perfectly fine because you're getting damage and also Yoshi is, but you're keeping the spacing you need. This is definitely not okay. We saw it happen coast to coast a moment ago. And there it is, spins all the meter, gets 30 of it back, and here it is, tries the command grab. But the back dash is good from Yago. Finding his way out of the corner. Oh, I EP love the spent, <laughs> unpunished on the spot dodge. Just spin it all, spin it all. There yeah, you go, absolutely. It, and Iago able to take it 2-1 in a very high octane set. So Link. Type in explanation point Mascherino in the chat. Click on the link and help these guys out for the show that they're going to be provo providing you guys. Yeah, we're getting even more shows here with nothing up against Laid Way Back. Of course, Laid Way Back known for the 2B play and nothing coming through with another Ladiva here. Let me ask you. I mean, I think... I think that the community understands 2B is very strong. How do you think this matchup is? Uh, I hate this matchup. I, I think this matchup is really, really hard for Ladiva, to be honest. And it's all because of just for one, one simple thing, right? Is that 2B has the ability to just whiff cancel her normals. The fact that yes. she can just keep going into her strings even on whiff makes it so hard for the diva to play any kind of a footsies game right you really have to push your way in which is easier said than done but nothing is trying to do it here 
What's funny, I, I think that most characters struggle with that against 2B. Like, she just takes away a lot of ways to play neutral. As we're watching nothing, <laughs> say that the issues are nothing and take that round away. Very strong play after uh, looking like it was a moment to get mauled in the corner. But I think a lot of characters struggle with uh, her cancelable normals and how much range they have. But at the same time, I know that, like, as Ladiva, like, you can't play footsies at all. You really have to just look for a moment of a mess up, really, kind of, from 2B. She's like, oh, you're too close. You did the wrong thing, and now it's my turn. And she doesn't really have any way to stop the onslaught because she has a meter DP also. Yep, it is. It's really all just about finding that gap. And you see right here, look at how laid way back is keeping that space just for the 5H, right? Because even mm -hmm. if we rip the 5H, we just keep pressing and we can punish nothing for trying to go in for the punish. That but was so in the corner. Oh my God. 6XL. Blocking? Yeah, absolutely. There it is. That was beautiful. Flip out. You know, throwing out a 5L just to flip him out into a raging strike that he just couldn't do anything about except for spin a reversal. And yeah, was not ready. Beautiful play from nothing. I like the NWO Ladiva we got here. <laughs> this is a good color. I like it. I like it. Oh, okay. And we're going back to the lobby here. I, I wonder if we're taking a breather or if maybe we're going for a character swap. I can't imagine. Oh, wow. UL, huh? So let me let me state how I feel about this. I always feel that UL... I feel like UL has a hard time against, against Ladiva because you play in the space that Ladiva wants you to the whole game. You yeah. can't manipulate the matchup. So I'm curious about this. I'm curious to see how this is going to play out as well. So laid way back, bring in the Yule. Believe in victory. You know, we might Let's be see. learning something new here. We're going to find out together. All right, but there he is. Guard cancel immediately right off the bat into the throw. Trying to go for that overhead. And yeah, look, we have to stay a whole lot closer, right? But maybe we feel like we can smother with offense a lot more. I could see that. If the idea is to just smother nothing with Yule's offense, which yeah. is currently the play. I mean, we saw as soon as that first BP was spent on the first touch on block, like we knew this is going to be an aggressive matchup. And I think everybody plays well like this. Uh, very, very, very aggressive. Um, now, one thing that I'm wondering is what I can't remember on the low buttons from Ladiva. What are the frame startups? Uh, I can't remember either, to be honest. When it comes to okay. playing Ladiva, I just play off vibes. <laughs> I, no, I understand. I understand. It was just making me wonder, like, okay, how well can Ladiva deal with the stance of Yule? So, I mean, I imagine that, 2A is the button you press, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, guard cancel is gonna be blocked, but of course, that's still safe. Oh, and the 2U blocked as well. No, what do you do? That's Ladiva's reversal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep, I like it. Get up off me. You're out of BP, but, you know, also laid way back is too. So whoever gets the next touch, yeah, there it is. That's where I was trying to go with this. This should be enough. You're not going to... Okay, there we go. There we go. You saw their really interesting laid way back going for the EX backflip. Not going for any kind of follow-up, just doing it to get away from Ladiva. That's mm -hmm. really interesting. I like the use of that tool just to create space so you can force Ladiva to come to you and try and force nothing into a situation where they overextend or make a mistake. I like it too. Like uh, exactly what you're saying, you know, just to add some nuance, it's if, if you do that, when you're Ladiva, you want to make a play. You see how we're seeing nothing instantly started jumping as soon as he backed off, right? So if you do that and you create that space, then you'll create a situation that you can capitalize off of. So that was very, very good recognition for Laidway Back. Oh my god, this one's gonna hurt for sure. Oh no! We weren't able to go into the Lariat there, unfortunate. But tries to send the EX Lariat this time. He's gonna whiff into a full punish from Laidway Back. All right, so we get some good damage here. Not full corner carry, but it is gonna lead into a situation. There it is. Because, yeah, that's what I meant by not full. It is going to be a, a situation where nothing could jab and stop the pressure. Does so. And now we're back in mid-screen. What is the play here? Clipped and clapped. Laid way back. Taking around. Yeah. The only downside there in that situation was even though we got the hit, uh, we, 
it's hard for Ladiva sometimes to squeeze out a lot of damage mid-screen. And if she doesn't have 50 meter or something, it can be difficult for her to get that coast to coast. Yes. I love it. Very good, Lariat. Very good bait. Nothing. Yep. Turning nothing into something. Yeah. Grab a Ronski. We went for the reset there with the grab because we hadn't gotten our Lariat back yet after the EX. Mm -hmm. back wasn't ready for it, but ready this time with a confirm. There it is. We got the mid screen, the whiff punish stance. It's been a lot of represented overheads from laid way back, so we saw the toes get clipped there from nothing. It's gonna be a lot of damage here. Let me ask you, do you think it's over? Uh, I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> Free money into the pot to support the two players coming up next, right? We want to make sure that they can all get paid. So let's get that match on as high as we possibly can. We have another Lancelot, which is interesting to me because I feel like over the tenure of Rising, I haven't seen this character a lot. But as of late, over the last month, I've seen him so much. 2B is a character, I mean, we just know we're going to see 2B. 2B is such a good character. I'm not even going to hesitate to say top three in my mom. Yeah, very strong. And she even took a, took a nerf in one of the last patches as well, right? But still mm -hmm. a very strong character. Lancelot is, though, as well. And right now, Ryota immediately spending the super here, trying to squeeze out some extra damage. Mmm. Right. Got the punish. Uh, spend it. I don't know here. I think that this is survivable. Yeah, there in the reset is going to get the KO. There we go. There we go. Good stuff from Ryota. Right, straight into the next round. Yoru immediately trying to be aggressive again. Ryota right off the bat with the guard cancel, saying, Get off of me. Doesn't want to let that momentum go too crazy. Not at all. I like it. I try to do a little stutter step, a little shimmy. Ryota with the recognition. BP for BP. Very good tech on the, the dash cancel. Going to the you overhead. Can tell. You can tell Ryota knows this matchup. Yeah, for sure. We're playing it very solid, like at a decent pace, right? It's not too quick, not too slow. But right now, we're all at a BP, and we might have to pick up the pace a little bit more here. He's got reversal on deck. I was, I mean, that didn't matter anymore once I saw him get caught on the jump frames. He wasn't blocking when he left the ground and he got clipped. But uh, I mean, he had reversal on deck. He could have made something happen. His executive decision was to jump and that was not it. I mean, it could have been it, but he was not blocking. Sure. Being a block, so Yoru able to block here. Oh, I like it. The hesitation immediately. I want to call that witch time, right? That's what it reminds me of. Right to the counter. <laughs> I like that, that's good. Which time, yes, that's a perfect, perfect analogy. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, 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 uh. Droppage into still lockdown. Baited into the empty low. This is going to be so much good damage for Ryota. I don't think he, does he build? No, okay. He knew he wasn't going to build it, so he went ahead and spent. I like it. And then you should be able to possibly get the kill here. Yep, into the Raging Strike. Just there. enough there at the end. Combo limit doesn't even exist for this character. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that's for sure. There's a, there's a couple characters like him, uh, Avatar Belial, Beatrix. Yeah, combo limit just doesn't exist for me. It's a suggestion, all right? There we go, 6 6 l You're saying a suggestion you get off of me there with a the guard cancel right back at you for Ryota. And I like that they're willing to spend these guard camps to spend their BP really early on, right? They don't want to allow either player to gain that momentum, even just on block. You know, that has been a play style that I I just, I can't get with. Like, I feel like people, people do that a lot in this game. And I think a lot of the time they don't realize that that is why they lose. I think it wins people games sometimes. But I think majority of the time, if you don't find that touch to be able to use your Skybound, like, like we just saw, a lot of times you don't find that moment, so it still leads to an L. And I'm not a fan of, you, sometimes I think you have to just believe in your blocks. 
It's that tug of war though, right? It's the risk reward. Do you want to get them off of you with the hope of getting a BP back in the future? Counter hit on the 5H, gets the juggle and you are dead. That is those giant buttons that we talked about earlier with 2B, man. Like he tried to set up a little long range shimmy situation and got blasted for it. Oh, and there we go. Command dash into the low. Nice. I, see, I do like using it once you get put into the corner, right? As I get off of me, create some space. Yes, I think the tool has a place. And I'm 1,000% I'm with you Ooh. in the corner. You cannot spot dash that one on a whim. You have to reaction as it's coming down. And that's a really tough reaction to make. And we're going to see a combo happen there. Reversal is going to work out, though. Side switch. And now... Calling ambience, not for me. You're in the corner. No, it doesn't matter. Sensei yeah. for the dub here should be enough. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, we know 1-1 uh, one, one now. Piece. We know why 2B is good, right? We've known for a long time. She kind of breaks the rules of Grand Blue, whether it's with her whiff cancels, being able to just go straight into her strings even when she whiffs, or the fact that she's got things like that air stall, things that a lot of other characters don't really get in Grand Blue, 2B has. But... Yep. I mean, we've already seen other characters can definitely stand up to it. We're seeing it right here from Ryota as now with Ryota as well with Lancelot. Yeah, Shout I think after her changes, you can definitely fight her. You know, she's, she's... What was that? Oh, we got the sub sub doubles. Two whole years. Oh, I two whole years. That's I thought a year was seven months for a second. Can you believe that? 14 wow. months. Thank you so much for the support. You know what's funny oh. is I didn't even blink an eye when you said that. I realized at the moment I said it too, but here we go. Send out the lasers. Hard knockdown. Look at that. The shimmy's just in that 5H range. Yep. It's, it's, it's so rough, man. Like, she really can control so much space, baited and degraded as Ryota is going to go down around here. And Sensei, bring this back as we saw Ryota really control the beginning of this set. Ryota was playing a very slow. Wow. That's so cheap. Are you kidding me, bro? You cancel back into the back dash, right? And and it's it's just guaranteed that if they try to do a poke button or or like we saw right there, a guard cancel, you just get a freebie. Or you just get to escape if they don't do anything. That, that move drives me crazy. And I know that Ryota is biting himself right now for getting hit by such. There's a nice spot that Jovo Ryota was able to escape from the corner. Oh, the DP is going to be blocked. And we're going to send it right into the super. Take all of your BP. Hold this. Not dead yet, but in a really bad spot. And the throw damage is massive with zero BP. We, we just saw 75. Uh, no, that's 25 cents. Sorry, my glasses are not glassesing. And we saw 25%, uh, 25 cent get added. We were at $9 a moment ago. And now it is at 10.75. So people are contributing. Y'all just keep on doing that as these guys contribute some more action. Tega versus we. What is the uh, CHJ? Do you know such? I do not know. All right. I'm not I keep aware. putting my co-caster in the situation of do you know? <laughs> and then they don't. But I do it every time. I mean, it's fair. It's fair. Oh, and then we just get the slight delay on the wake up buttons there from we. I like you bringing in the Charlotta, trying to go for the ultimate Charlotta ball there. Fortunately, no one home. Did you say Charlanka? Charlotta ball. <laughs> oh, I thought you said Charlanka like Blanca. I was like, yo, let's do spit. I wish Dude. I thought of that one. Oh, but Tega with the right, the quick thinking there to get the restand into the confirm. I love that. Yeah, that, that AA he got with the counter hit was so clean, recognizing that we went over the top of him. That was so good. And Tega showing why he's so nice at this game. You know, the only thing about Tega for me is, like, I still to this day wish he would bring the Percival back. He was talking about it in chat, wondering if he should bring it out, dust it off. I'd like to see that too, but I think someone's got to push him to that point, right? There's that slow walk forward straight into the button, and it should be enough here to close out game number one. Rush down, frame trapping monster is Lancelot and Tega, a master of such, with that micro walk. Taking game number one here against Wee Wee. Has got to figure something out against, against Tega, and I don't think that there's anything wrong with the offensive end. It's all been the defensive end. All right. Tega trying to get out of the corner, but the air to air, very good from Wee. Gets the grab. Huh? 
just remember, if you're, no matter what fighting game you're playing, ever, especially if it's a new one, if you're playing 2XKO, just stay outside of jump range if you have your opponent in the corner, and you will blow them up so often. And, I mean, you're, what you just said is beautiful. We saw that air-to-air -air into a full conversion for 50 from Wee. But, unfortunately, he has no BP left. He's going to eat a nice 40% from Tega with the Skybound. And this should be the end of his days after making such a prolific play. Yeah, I mean, things can turn around just that fast, right, in this game. And also, off near 09 coming through with the $10 into the Macherino. Thank you for the support. I mean, this is what I mean. This is what I'm always talking about, man. Like, on the defensive end, spending too many BP in the combo routes when you know that a lot of your conversions take Ooh. BP. Just spending the BP, like, it literally, I, I don't ever see it being the reason why someone wins. It's It can help you win, but generally, it's a detriment. And I, I want to see how this game keeps developing over time. I know we're a far way in, but... This spinning BP for the sake of spinning BP, I'm just not a fan. I mean, I like it in certain scenarios, but unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to spend a whole lot of BP there. Tega with a snowball victory, 2-0, moving on to top down and kind of killed the game because it had, you know, delay-based netcode. Uh, yeah. I won't say killed the game, but, you know, it was not in a good spot thanks to it hurt it. But the community kept it strong, kept it going, and they have been rewarded handsomely. And we're about to be rewarded with the first match here of Top 8. Who bizzle for shizzle in the building. I love that they're letting the uh, the intros rock too, right? I do for one sure. Of the, one of the most awesome thing, things of uh, modern fighting games is that most games will make sure that people have intros for each other. We got Fairy on the receiving end of those words it's fine don't worry you know what I mean? she's ready to go she won't lay a finger on my pack yeah and we got iago going up against laid way back winner semi good air grab to start the game that was crazy yeah incredible reactions there from iago and nice with the spacing already back dash into the two you sweep we, whoa, the, the that was misses. disgusting. We are putting 2B in the blender right now with these left rights. Uh oh, but there we go with the counter. Backdash immediately into the button press. After the guard cancel, we go straight for the orb super. <laughs> That's rough. That's rough. As, as, as laid way back, you had to just take the touch you got and then yeah. block afterwards and because you, you had no option. I don't know. No, wait, wait, wait. We could have got the jab into the uh, the dash cancel, right? Maybe it would have went under, right? But, I mean, another factor there is that we spent our BP, right? We went for the Raging Strike. Yeah, exactly. Uh-oh, but here we go. Now, laid away back. Finally, able to get their hands here on Fairy. And BG Callisto coming through with the raid. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Here's some time for top eight of Grand Blue here. I don't even think we need this hot dodge there. It's too far away, I think, for that spinning. Speaking of spinning there, <laughs> lay way back and take the first round. Okay, take another round here. Lay way back, getting into the groove of things. After we saw a really good round from Iago, Iago was showing us setups that we couldn't really see during uh, the match against nothing. You know, so it was like. You, you, you want to just keep nothing away, but now you can really blend and play up close game against Laid Way Back. As you get pushed into the corner, Laid Way Back, full combo, Yamaj, spins 50 of that meter. Oh, uh, back dash is good. I love Yago. Yeah, blowing up the throw opportunity there from Laid Way Back. He's going to block the instant overhead, though, but still great position for Iago. Unfortunately, the whiff cancels there from 2B. So strong. One of the strongest things she's got. Ooh. Does the skybound? Yes! But wow, very lackluster damage. And now Chip is a factor, but the 2A is, 2L, excuse me, is going to do it. Laid way back, taking game number one here. I mean, we saw a super strong start from Miago, and it looked like Laid way back didn't know what to do on the defensive end, but Laid way back really hasn't had to deal with the defensive end too much since that point. All right, back into the nooch, and it's looking very strong again for Yago. Yago realizing, like, I don't want to play too close. 
yeah, exactly. It's about playing that that range that you're comfortable at with <laughs> with Barry. I lost my train of thought there because the wake up buttons from laid way back immediately, right? Didn't even want to deal with GG coming onto their head. But nice, I like the drill. Attempts to go for the throw, but we are still stuck between a rock and a hard place at the moment. Mm-hmm. Yep, yoke up into one more trap. Nice, the double jump to evade, but still clip. Diago with zero BP, controlling the whole round. Oh, and again, look at that punish. Laid away back, just perfectly understands the range of 2B's normals here. We're hitting with so many buttons just at the tip. There's the run in with the 2L. Low, gonna lead into a lot of damage here. A lot of damage into give me them toes, and this should be the round for laid way back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't care how much scaling we we could even imagine. That was gonna be enough. Laid way back with a perfect KO. One more round away from taking this set. Stocking it up. Tries to go for the throw attempt there. And that guard mm. crush is brutal. That was a brave check after the guard crush. The laid way back didn't press anything, so it allowed Iago to get up out of there. Yeah, I like the guard cancels. Barry is definitely a character that, you know, go ahead, guard cancel all you want. You need to maintain that space. Yep. That's one of the things I was going to say earlier. Like, Iago's playing a character that goes against the rules that I preach. Like, I'm not a fan of the of spinning the BP, but. He's playing a character where as long as you keep the other player off, you tried to do a guard cancel right there, but got the raising strike and laid way back with no BP left has to make this corner yeah, really work in super. his favor. Super here should kill actually. We took yeah, all that's the Rap City. and there it is. But one thing I really like there too from laid way back is every time Iago tried to throw out GG with all uh, go back to sleep. We're playing Grand Blue right now, okay? This one's for the young folks. Yoru Sensei versus Tega coming up for our next match of top eight. Yes. All right, all right. So we saw Sensei doing his thing earlier, but we've definitely seen, seen Tega doing his thing. Now, I don't think we've watched either one of them had to deal with this specific match. Wait, no, wait. Sensei did play a Lancelot earlier, right? Yes, I believe so. Yes. So, oh, okay, so we here we go. Some... Tried to go for the command dash there and got tossed out of it by Tega. Able to block the guard cancel, but of course it is plus. That was gross. We've noticed that Tega is button Z on the way down as people fall. And that little stutter, him, he tried to jab, he got caught by the cross up from, uh, actually it was front side from Sensei. But now, corner game is had by Tega with only two BP left, I mean one BP left for Sensei. And the next touch will be Rap City, I guarantee it. Spin it again. Shimmy Nation. And the check is good. Sensei, say give me a BP badge and get the super. It's gonna be a lot of damage. Yeah, and now just trying to chip out from far range. I like it. Ooh. Let's go right into an anti-air counter hit. Pega stealing it away. Yoru just got a little too greedy. That was insanity. And I'm gonna tell you right now, Take as a player, like, you're going to have to spin that double jump. He tried to just come down with a button and take a said counter hit, get that out of my face. Oh, man, I like that. Just run straight into the five heavy. Full confirm all the way to the corner. Mm-hmm. Triple tick into the throw. Tries the one tick into the throw. Not happening. But Tega still opened up. Sensei looking very strong here. Building back a lot of those 2B, uh, that 2B bar. Another throw. Yes for game. And he guesses Ooh. correct. Ooh. Yeah, we just woke up with 5L, right? Pega's so good at utilizing that 5L to counter some of these jumping. We saw it earlier on in the stream, and we saw it here now against 2B, but unfortunately is going to get blown up by the reversal there from Yoru. Tying the rounds up a piece. Yep, falling from the sky. You can't do anything about it. Cannot block. And that reversal did exactly what it was supposed to do. One round of peace here, into the nooch, into the corner. What a spot dodge, but Tega making a great play. Mm. Back, I like that. He backdashed afterwards. I feel like he would have got clipped if a button was pressed by a Sensei. 
but he had a good read. Yeah, for sure. Oh, a little bit of staggered pressure there. It's like kind of a delay on the 5H, trying to catch a button from Tega. And there we go, guard cancel, get off me. Down to one BP, and Yoru is sitting on 100 meter. Both of them sitting on 100 meter. This is actually really scary. Very scary. And you look at Tega missing two of his BP. This has been a very slow paced game for them to, neither one really has too much damage on. Now we're both missing. No conversion there from Sensei off the falling H. It's crazy that they both have so much health, but because of the BP of the meter situation, neither of them have really any health, but we dropped the super. That is tragedy. Tremendously sad. Luckily, Tega does not get what he wanted. What you got? Luckily, the super gave us back one BP, so we didn't take nearly as much damage as we would have otherwise, which gives Tega an opportunity here with that reset on the low, going to close out game number one. Still able to come away with that when Tega always proving to me that he's the player I think he is, man. He makes decisions I don't agree with, but what player doesn't? But he also just... He makes sure that when he does something, if, it, if he gets the touch he wants, it will always count. He, he has very strong neutral in every game I've ever seen. The micro step into the medium. Tega not playing any games right now. Yeah, knocked down in the corner. Tega trying to run away with this. Just goes for the overhead option. Immediately challenging back. Tega's fight IQ to when we can just swing back, right? Like wake up with buttons is so high because he's right most of the time when he presses on wake up. Yeah, that's that's what's, that's one of the things that's impressive about him. I've been watching this guy for years, for years. And he just knows when it's his turn, man. All right. Ooh, tries to cancel. Very good recognition from Tega for the tech. Beautiful spot, spot dodge dodges well. there, yeah. And I like that we didn't really overcommit, right? Just went for the dash L. Dash L this time, gonna get a counter hit. Gonna put the ice on. Oh, we tried mm. to go for a reset into a throw, but unfortunately, just a little too far away. I am not mad at Tega for not spending his BP back to not deal with the damage and be BP-less, but the combos he's getting hit by, the situation he is now in for doing such, is rough stuff. And there it is. He's able to spin. And now he's back in the corner. This is rough. He can't be raging strike, so that's a good look. Uh-oh. But, but now Chip is going to be a factor damage. here. And the air-to-air -air allows Yoru to take the round. And also, huge shouts to Eshu coming through, or Ishu, if that's how you pronounce it, for the $25 to the match arena. We appreciate the support so much. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Looking out for these guys that are fighting for their life out here on the stream. Tega trying to get that pressure on. Beautiful cancel there from Sensei to back out. Conversions. Uh, 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 you're going to the corner. Free travel. You didn't have to pay for it. Clean little grappling hook conversion there. Oh, I like it. The JA right at the end, but gets blown up by the 2H. Not going to get anything out of it, though. Just escaping from the corner here for Tega. Yeah, he would have had to cancel off the 2H, and therefore he did not. I think he, nah, 2B might not be able to kill off this. Yeah. And now Tega has an opportunity with all the BP missing, but he is in chip territory. A lot of jumps coming in, and the reversal is there. He would have had the spot dodge if we saw the jab come out. And Sensei tying it up. One to one. Match right. ended. Uh-oh. Are we both still Percival? in there? Percival? Hold on. Yeah, I want to see the Percival. Come on, Tega. Do it for the people. We're running over to the side. We're definitely swapping characters, right? He's got to be. He's got to be. Percy now, Percy Tom? funny, funny bit of information, guys. Uh, so I just came off a of DreamCon where Tega won uh, Street Fighter Six and he got second in uh, Grand Blue. And at uh, and for Street Fighter Six, as I was casting Top Eight coming through the speakers, I kept telling him one time, "You've got to play, you've got to play Ryu, you got to play Ryu." <laughs> he played Ryu and he got reset in Grand Finals and had to switch back to his Akuma to win the tournament. Oh, so it's your fault. 
<laughs> it was my fault. It was definitely my fault. Well, and and he's back. He's not listening to me. He goes back to the Lance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're not seeing the Percy. We're not seeing the Percy here. It is just Lancelot this time. Victory. <laughs> All right, the round start scenario here. Nice challenge there on the command dash from Yoru. Okay, yeah, I like that. I like going for the guard cancel there, just trying to keep Yoru locked down in the corner. An aggressive guard cancel. Yeah. I'm, f I'm a fan of it. I'm a fan of it. Loses out on the end, air-to-air -air situation, and now back is up against the wall. Are we going to see another guard cancel here from Tega? No, instead we see the 2-H, and this time we are going to get a full confirm on it. There it is. That's all it is. He has to do the dash cancel off of the heavy, right? So it's the only way he's going to be able to get that. Last time he missed it, this time it paid off, but BP-less Sensei trying to make a clutch situation out of this. And I think it's very, very possible. He's just got to find the right touch. Nice, that's gonna be a good hit. Spin the bar, get a BP back. Yes. Still alive, of course, but down on BP here. And now you gotta get through this storm. Has to figure out a way to thread the needle here. Look at the patience from Yoru. Mm -hmm. We tried it's to not challenge. Gonna be enough. Oh my goodness! We tried to go for a guard cancel, but Tega stopped short, so we just got the raging strike instead. Yep, only did the first portion of the wreck. Uh, no second portion came out for the plus frame. Sensei looking for the right thing, but ended up being the wrong thing. And, and the AA is there. Sensei pushing towards the corner here. And I found, I was literally about to say that Tega has found his way out of the corner dang near every single time as he sneaks his way out and he's got the corner here. The tables have turned. The damage has turned, the plus frames faded, but nothing happened. Hey, yep, setting up the Oki. <laughs> Man, the guard cancel there is still working out. That super really does not hurt. Mmm, well, new for the yeah. wall thing. Sensei with the recognition, the collected data, understanding what Tega wants. And now we're sitting here at final game, final round, and winner semis. Ooh, okay, chasing the back dash with the 6-6-L. Six, six of a delayed throw tech there, but still Yoru able to start challenging back. Air, air to air. Good. Full conversion. Only uses two hits of the Rekka. Let me out of here. Ultimate reversal to the other side. Very good play from Tega. He's actually in a very... He has, he's at a life deficit and meter deficit, but he's in a very good spot to win this game. Nope. Everything that I was trying to mention was giving him an advantage is now gone. He is now tied in BP. He well, does have the meter advantage, but he's at yeah. a health deficit. And we have access to SSBA, right? So if we're able to get a clean hit here into a confirm, we can definitely still kill. We just have to have an opportunity to spend our SSBA because that's going to take away. Oh, now with no BP, we can absolutely kill. For all intents and purposes, they have the same life. <laughs> I agree. It literally just takes one touch, just one button confirmed into the SSBA, and it will be it. But it's going to be very hard for him to touch. Sensei playing very good defense, the reversal! Very clean there, last second with the reversal. Yoru able to take it and move on to winners. Uh, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's that bad, right? Charlotta wants to wants to brawl with you. Any character that wants to be close to Ladiva, you know what? We can do that. Uh, the the Charlotta ball can be annoying to deal with sometimes, but her her jump her jump arc is strange. It's not too difficult, I think, for Ladiva because Ladiva's two H is pretty strong at catching it. Okay, I was actually curious about that because I thought that the jump arc would actually work a lot. Wow. Okay, right I thought the jump arc would be good for her uh, well, versus Ladiva, but. Wow. It's the angle that Ladiva's 2H goes at kind of matches the jump arc of Charlotta's jump. Mm -hmm. oh, reset into the SBD maximum love bomb. Tried for that overhead, nothing doing. Anti-air, but no conversion. You can already All see. Right, I'm starting to smell what you're cooking. Yeah, if we go, if if you see Charlotta going the demon flip, you can go ahead and do the 2H. 
if she jumps at you 2 H. But right now, though, unfortunately for Yoshi, we is going wild here. And we just no! try to it's all not going to work. You got to wait for Shalana to reach the ground. That was rough. Because I think if, if just a little bit of weight onto the AA, it was going to be a counter hit. That would have been the game. But trying to go for that uh, super there, the SSBA, it just wasn't It wasn't time right. Now, I remember there was time to recognize that it wasn't going to work also. But sometimes you commit to something in your mind, and you're just going to let it rip. Absolutely. Ooh, nice parry on the cross-up attempt there from Yoshi. Ultimate Blanca Ball going to get blown up this time. 2M into the EX Ultimate Lariat, I should say. And the ultimate elbow drop. Mm-hmm. Waited a moment and caught the frames of the startup of the run. And there it is, Yoshi tying it one round apiece. By the way, Jobber, we, we coined a new phrase, bro. We came up with this together. It's Charlonka Ball. Charlonka Ball? Yeah, bro. <laughs> I like it, Charlonka Ball. There's the 2U for the sweep. Diva's reversal. Oh, we tried to. Very smart, though, from we to send out the uh, the Helm Splitter there instead of going for any other Demon Cook follow-up. I like it. Mm. Yep, right to the Lariat. Frame kill with that 5P. I like it a lot. 5L, excuse me. Okay, switch sides. I like it very much from Wii, but you got to make something happen here. The spot <laughs> dodge was so crispy, and I think you're toast. Yeah, was it too late? It was! Oh, not able to pick up. And the spot dodge there on the raging strike attempt. Yoshi getting too greedy. This is Wii's opportunity. We're spending all of our BP. Say, please get off of me. But spending all of it might be leading to our death. It's not going to be enough. Not going to be enough. It, oh, it is. absolutely is. I'm tripping. Wow. And those wow. were two panic BPs that we saw from Yoshi, right? Just yes. really wanted to be able to get get Charlotta off of them and try and get one button pressed. But in that situation, we probably should have held on to both of them. I agree. I agree. Are you are you starting to see what, what, I, what I'm cooking, man? Are you, you feeling me now? I feel you. I feel that, that MVP stuff, well. man. People just be getting blasted, man. It's It works sometimes, man. But I think if we review tape, I think that like 30% of the time, if somebody spends a lot of BP because they don't want to block, I think they lose. Hey, we didn't pay 60 bucks to block, right? <laughs> there we go. Overhead blocks the guard cancel on the other side. Back, back dash drop you. kick? Again. Again? Oh my goodness. All right, now that we're at low health, spending the BP makes sense, but we're just gonna scoop Charlotta up into Ladiva's loving arms. There's the pin. One, two, and three. Ring the bell, ref. Charlotta's face as the pin was about to happen was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> oh, the whiff on the 5H immediately into the 2M. Man. Yoshi, making a strong walk. That dash command grab, it's cooked. Okay, pressure's on, back dash drop kick again. That dash has been Yoshi's friend uh, in this matchup for sure. Yeah, it's been working out. I mean, it makes oh sense. My. Ooh, yep, not invincible. Not invincible. I thought it was going to work. I know there was plus frames on the side of Wii, but I just didn't think that uh, he would have pressed anything yet. So that was a good try from Yoshi. Not mad. Still on the cusp of victory. Mm -hmm. BP for like BP. That. Another one. Not oh a, not my again. God. Not again. Just spending Wait. BP, but we we went for the ultimate instead of the SSBA. It doesn't matter. One more hit for Chip, <gasps> and we armor through with the ultimate headbutt. I can't believe we didn't go for the SSBA there. I can't either. We must have just autopiloted into spending 50 meter. SSBA Ash. absolutely would have killed, right? I'm not crazy. <laughs> no, you're all right. It was over. It was over. But like I said, sometimes, sometimes you have already chose what you're going to do. 
And no matter, I know in his brain he probably recognized it was wrong, but sometimes you've already told yourself what you're gonna press. Yeah, well, Envelap letting us know that actually the SSBA wouldn't have reached there, too. I'm not as familiar with Charlotta, so thank you. That is unfortunate, but they're bringing things back right here as well. Just a dominating round. Getting put at mm. set point. Nice AA, Lariat does not connect. It leads to a tech here. We, with the reversal, okay. The big dash drop kick is the answer. I'm finding out that's just a wave. Oh, I think we wanted headbutt there. We accidentally got DP. Mm. Oh. Ooh, speaking of headbutt, that one's gonna whiff. Nice throw there from Wii. This time, Meaty's going on. That one's gonna be for sure. Corner carry, double lariat combo. Get your bind in this corner. Where the heck do you think you're going? Right to you. To the oh. other side, right into the super with the Doki Doki dive kick. <laughs> How many times can you say you've been watching fighting games and you watch empty jump cross up super command grab? I mean, if you watch Street Fighter, probably a lot. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> uh, that was very well placed from Yoshi. And another strong start on this round. Drops the combo for the yoke up. Huh? Faded. Yes. I like it. I like it. You got to spin that because your tournament life is on the line here. Oh, my God. That well, was an insane. Insane play there, the spot dodge into the super. Yoshi staying alive in top eight, losers moving on. That's crazy, Yoshi. <laughs> he hit the, he hit the, you know, straighten up the tie. Believe in victory. But here we go, jumping straight into our next losers match. It is going to be Inochi up against Senpai Spider in the Nier versus Matera matchup. Very interesting that we haven't had, uh, we haven't had either one of them on stream yet. Yeah, really Senpai interesting too. Spider. I think this is an interesting matchup. Obviously, we know how strong Nier is, right? We don't need to go over it over and over. But up against Matera, I'm actually curious how how she plays this matchup. I think that I think that Matera does well. I really don't think that she suffers in this matchup. Now, damage-wise, she is at a deficit, but I think she has the tools to deal with the kit of uh, yeah. of Nier, and especially to deal with death, right? Being able to kind yeah. of snipe out death, we already saw it there. Long range normals, of course. All right, goes for the command hop. And at this point, Senpai has really just kind of survived this onslaught and already gotten Inochi to zero BP. Look at that. Send out the flash kick, super. And that's the first round down. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, guys. Any of you out there, if you have ever just been playing Grand Blue and you accidentally ran into Senpai Spider, this is one of the only players in this game I've ran into and I've actually felt helpless. Like, Senpai Spider is ridiculous. It's different than watching him play. Like, it's it's crazy when you have to deal with this. I already love the patience that I'm seeing, really slowing down the gameplay here, which I don't see too much from a lot of Matera players, right? They're usually pretty active. But right now, Inochi has them in a really compromised scenario and gonna be able to take the round one apiece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like, it's one of those things where obviously Nier can do what Nier does. If Nier gets started, she can do the same thing she does to any character in the game, to every character. But the thing about Matera is, like we said earlier, she can control the space. Watch that wall jump right there. I mean, well, yeah, she can hop over. She has a short hop that most characters don't have. She doesn't have to deal with the things that everyone else has to deal with. You talk about the long range jab that can pop uh, death. She can do so much, and there's so much zoning that's going on where the startup of a lot of Death's attacks will get clipped by the projectile. So she has a strong neutral against this character. But when stuff like this happens, uh huh. Now, I mean, once you get put into the once you get put into the near a blender, everyone's mortal, right? It doesn't matter what your kit is, everyone is mortal in the face of death. And Inochi is going to get game number one. King Chopper, when is the album dropping? <laughs> Everyone's mortal in the face of death. That sounds like the name of the album. Oh, but we are able to knock death out here. For a second. 
Getting on in, the butterflies are getting close, using them to establish even more pressure with the hops. Mmm, clipped. Uh, I like it. Spin that reversal. You don't want to deal with that pressure too much longer. Mm, tried to jab, I guarantee it. Trying to catch death, but instantly spending Inochi. BP spent there. Full conversion here from Senpai Spider. And now the projectile game with only three hearts left. Ah, uh, you got clipped. The three Ooh, hearts yep. meant a lot until you got touched, you know. And so if it was just neutral wise, that was a big deal. But finding the right moment was a notion. Turning to the next round. He's already trying to go for that sweep. Sending out the butterflies. Oh, and I like that we kept Death locking down Senpai Spider to make sure that they couldn't send out the arrow to activate the butterflies, right? That was really smart mm -hmm. play there from Inochi. Oh, misses the cross up, but still able to get the back throw. That's one of those things is if you can, as a character, stop her from detonating the butterflies, you must. Because characters that can't deal with those butterflies, like, it is oppressive. No BP left for Inochi. Corner is had for Inochi. Jump in doesn't quite work out. Air grab, yes. 100% meter on side for Senpai Spider. I want to see what he wants to do with this. Actually, he just, he just believed in his defense and he fought his way out of the corner. That's the type of stuff I'm talking about. This was the same situation where Senpai, Senpai Spider was able to take the very first round in game one, right? Was the fact mm -hmm. that Inochi had spent all that BP. And look how quickly you die when the BP is gone. It turns Matera into an actual damaging character. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what a thunk it! Right. Back here in this space where we're just watching Senpai Spider dance around. He really understands this character, how to dance around, how to make you feel like you can't play the game. Is it that you feel like you can't play the game, or can you really not? Mmm, good reversal there. Nochi, full conversion. Easy peasy slight work. Uh, this is the BP for the conversion. Spends yeah. another. I don't know about this. Oh, yeah. Well, we just immediately land into our. Uh, e I'm about to say OD reversal, ultimate reversal. I'm playing too much Street Fighter, brother. <laughs> OD man, EX OD. It doesn't matter. I'm starting to just feel like it is what it is, and it is what it is when the reversal comes out and you press that button and no oh, cheat. Taken at the same time. Well, there we go, bro. Yoshi up against Iago. I, this is the rough back. Is it? Oh, no, no, no. Yoshi. No, no, no. Iago went up against a different Ladiva. Went up against nothing. Nothing, exactly. But it is the same matchup here. Ladiva up against Fairy. I wonder what ended up happening. I mean, I guess I could look at the bracket. If you guys press exclamation point bracket, you can keep up with, with what's going on here. But I'm curious as to what happened to nothing in the bracket. That was a winner side match that we watched the play. Anyway, losers quarters, the Dunkaroonie, Yoshi, trying to get something shaking after having a hard time getting in. Boom, bam, slamma, chamma. And Ultimate Lariat is going to be your friend in this matchup as well, right? That unblockable if you can catch them. Yeah, you can really just uh, just look for spaces when like when Barry wants to do records like that. I mean, not records or buttons in succession. And you can throw that ultimate lariat in there and, uh, and come through. Yeah, that was a little unfortunate. We tried to get that to you, but got blown up by the super orb. Roll forward is going to get punished. Diago taking the first round. I like it. I like it. Diago showed already that they know how to play this matchup. It still doesn't look free. But yeah, I want to see if Yoshi tries to use one of those tactics that we saw nothing using, which was the jump, uh, the body splash, to come down on the limbs in neutral and long range. Beautiful step forwards into the AA from uh, Yago. Ooh, getting the combo off of GG as well. Excellent. Now back up against the wall. Help. All right, I like the use of the JH already here, coming out. Mm -hmm. Double low with GG on. Yoshi not biting on any of it. Trying to find a way over. It's just rough stuff right now. Trying to drop kick, nothing doing. OD GG. Ultimate GG, I did the same thing, my bad. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> We're both playing too much Street Fighter. <laughs> but there and we go. Long range with it. Yeah, we'll game take the game for Iago. Nice. Trading the game too. Just going for the double spot dodge off the bat. Trying to go for a huge call out there, but nice with the two U sweep. Oh, just that micro walk forward into the maximum love bomb. 6XL into the confirm. Get off of me, says Iago with the guard cancel. Now, something I don't quite know. If you do 6XL, I know 6XL into the light um, headbutt is comboing, but if you do 6XL into uh, the heavy, does that combo? Uh, I believe if you, you can do 6XL, 5L into OD head, or EX head, but I believe. Okay. okay, okay. Uh oh, but there we go. With the Doki Doki dive kick. Nice back dash, but too far away for the Raging Strike to connect. Ooh, try the little shimmy and gets thrown in the corner. And what a way to turn the game, turn the tides. Iago. Now sitting at set point, threatening to take out another Ladiva here. To you, hits its mark. Side switch off the knockdown, Very beautiful play. The defense holding strong for Yoshi. Starting to get chipped away at. I love the not GC. <laughs> the response to Shout out to GC Yoshi, much love. But now we are locked down in the core. Oh, there is nowhere for you to run. The idea trying to go for the ultimate air SPD for the invincibility, but it's not going to work out. Rough stuff. You got to make plays when you're in a situation that we're seeing Yoshi in. And drop combo leads to an opportunity here, but it is going to be very difficult. Guard cancel. The roll is there. Oh my goodness! No shot. This is no huge. Shot. This is huge. Whoa. Drop the reversal and Iago! Oh my goodness. Oh, these are pretty good as well. Tega versus Inochi coming up. Tega sticking it out with the Lancelot here. No merciful to be seen. Yeah, he's not tried it at all, which is very interesting. I mean, I guess, I mean, to me it's interesting because I just know him from his Percival in uh in the original Grand Blue, but I don't know. I just I think that that character is so much better than any U.S. player gives uh gives them gives them. It's only Japanese player that I Japanese players that I see play Percival, and he's super good. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to see how the meta develops, especially with another balance patch coming down the line. But right now. Tega's got to figure out a way to escape from the corner. There's Nice with the wall jump. Ain't going to get a full punish on Inochi as well. Are we going to spend the super or are we going to go for a reset? We spend the super. He yep, he's going to kill. Yeah. That was that was a kill. And to be honest, when somebody's missing a BP like that, especially Lancelot-wise, you're gonna most characters are going to get a safe jump into blah, blah, blah. But this guy gets a, a charged fireball into a mix, right? So if he can steal the BP and then put you into guess for game, there's no reason for Lancelot to not spam. I think him and uh, Six are the characters where you're probably getting supered almost every time. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they're the two characters where the combo limit really does not matter. Pretty similar in some functions here. The jumps to the other side. Mm -hmm. Yep, going for the nice DP. Reversal. Ooh, counter hit on the dash light. Oh, he no. dropped it. A rare combo limit. Yep, 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 yep. Unfortunate, because this could be a really bad situation. We talked about it taking Nobles and went to press. Oh, but it's still not looking good. Locked oh. down and dealing the corner. Diabolical stuff there from Inochi. What a cross up, what a cross up. Oh no, mm. the final hit there of death, able to catch Tega. Look at the health bar already. It's like, one of the things, like I know we don't want to beat the dead horse and talk about how strong this character is, but one of the things that gets you is the mental stack that she puts on you. And even when you know what not to do, if you do something at just the wrong millisecond, because you have to take your turn back against this character. Just the wrong millisecond a lot of the time. 
will lead to you getting steamrolled. You know, talking about steamrolling, Tega found his opportunity. Uh-uh, 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 yes, it is yep. enough. And Tega will take game number one here against Inochi. And we got that off of the teleport into the empty low there. Tega likes to normally go for teleport into the falling button because, of course, if you try to go for the empty low, the opponent can just challenge it. But very smart. That's the mental stack that Tega was able to put onto Inochi there in the corner. Now we got to deal with this stack of offense coming through from Inochi. This is absolutely ridiculous. Stays too far away for the guard cancel to work. It was going to get whiff punished. So Tega had to deal with the onslaught, but he ends up finding his way out. Cross up into the grab. And ultimate reversal does the job for Inochi to take round number one in game number two. Battle two, engage. All right, back dash. I uh, just going for the stab. Walking up, <laughs> walking up with the buttons, trying to catch that throw opportunity. Mm. Yes, yeah, sniped by death. Yep. Oh my, okay, luckily he got crossed up when there wasn't a lingering hitbox out. That was good, but he still ends up getting kicked up. Spend all the BP. Yeah, that should be enough, perfect. Didn't have to spend all of it, only two of them. Very good job from Minochi with a swift game number two. Yeah. Into a tied 1-1 game here in loser's quarters. Love what we're seeing here so far. I mean, this is to get into top four, right? That's right. Empty low is going to blow up Inochi this time again. Mm -hmm. Push him back in the corner. I love the BP spin. Reversal off the walk up and the delayed press to catch him as he fell. That was very good from Inochi, but still getting picked up here. We're going to see Skybound here. I love the BP spin early. Whoa, we didn't get Skybound, but the jump does work out for Ortega. A mistake scary. led to a victory, either way. Yeah, a little scary there, but still able to lock it down. Now sitting at set point, goes for the immediate teleport at round start, possibly just to get over a death. Yeah, because normally you'll see a lot of uh, a lot of near players just send out EX death right off the bat. Yeah, what, yeah, that's the round start for near. Nears either walk backwards or they send death at you EX. That, that's what you're getting. That's how the game starts. And you got the lower tier ones that are going to jump at you, but that's not the right option. So, you know, it was a good play for him to try that. Nice jab there on the death. Teleport over the top. Not going to get anything. Raging strike. He has to spin the BP. None left. So even a grab will be his demise at this point. Air grab. Oh, no. Into the meaty cross up. Nice up there from Inochi. Set point final game, final round for both of these players. Wow, 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 what a play from Minochi. What a start here from Tega. He's got the corner. The stagger on the pressure is gonna cause an open up. Uh-uh-uh, he's gonna get a lot of damage here. He doesn't spin, he wants the plus frames baited, no, but no punish. punish. Yeah, I think we were just a little too far away to be able to score that punch, but that's fine. Just go straight into the superhero. Should be able to close it out. Tega is gonna take it and move on to top four loser's side. Wow, 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 what? But it does go on sale a lot, so make sure to keep an eye out for when those sales drop. It was literally just oh, on yeah. sale for $29. And there's a free version. <laughs> yes, game, yes, you yes. You can also play a free version with rotating characters every week, so make sure to check that out and see if you like it. Yeah, that's the route to go for sure. I've got, I've converted a lot of people to be Grand Blueians with me by just getting them to try the free version. And, and I always say, a character doesn't make somebody play a game. If you like the, the mechanics, you'll find a character. So if Absolutely. you like the mechanics, then once you buy it, you'll find your character. And if you're a grand main, then you never have to pay for the game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Grand's just There's always definitely free. definitely that, too. But here we go, the 2B versus 2P. Wait, 2P? Player 2? Is that what you did? No, that's, that's, what, that's what she's called, 2P, when she's in the white outfit with the dark skin. What the heck? I did not know that. Oh, but here we go. Back dash. It's 2B two, two or 2P. That is the question. Wow. Educate me, Sensei. Educate me. No, see what I did there, Sensei? Minty, yeah, you know Minty, Minty. Change laid way back to, to 2P and Yoru to 2B. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but gets the pick up there into the tackle. I don't think I've there ever seen go. this mirror. Uh uh uh, the jump in is good. Uh uh uh. Oh yeah, that's gonna be enough. Oh yeah. No wait. This doesn't kill. Me. I'm not. I'm not going for it. Oh, yeah, okay. sliver of health remaining. Good call out and a good call there as well with the parry. It's beautiful, beautiful. Nice stuff from laid way back. Sensei, trying to make something shake here. I mean, mirror matches are to me are just some of the hardest stuff to play. There's so many elements, but one of the things that for me is always expecting the other player to do things that you would do in the situation. For sure, exactly. Especially in those mirror matches, 100%. Yeah. Oh, but nice pick up there. All right, just rushing right on in again. Stagger pressure, but laid way back, immediately challenging. This is gonna be a long carry. Dash up, and I like it. I love the play from Sensei. And that's gonna be enough. You gotta spin some. Yes, sir. Yep, right into the super. Two hits is all it's gonna take to close out that round. And we are neck and neck right here. Tug of war. Yoru coming out of the gate, blazing with offense again, but gonna get counter hit by the 5H. Mm, what a challenge on the run up. Did not believe. And Sensei now has corner, BP spin, cancels into cancels. Neither player willing to deal with it in the check from Laneway back. These guys are boxing. We really do be swinging here with the delay. Stagger in the air. Great spacing as well. Nearly got that whiff punish with the 5H. Oh, but still gets blown up even after the teleport. So we spend our ultimate reversal. Love the nuance here that 2B is one of the only characters that can deal with her her uh, little backdash cancel, or backdash parry, if you will. Yeah. So it's like, if she just keeps the record going and you don't get your turn, it doesn't matter. That's yeah, actually yeah. very interesting. And we watched Laid Way Back Could off of some victory. player knowledge. I don't know if he was gonna do that regardless. Or not player knowledge, character knowledge. He does it regardless. And here we are, he takes game number one. I love, I love games where characters have hard time dealing with their own tools. I think it, it makes for really interesting mirror matches. A nice throw tech there. That is very true. That is very true. A lot of the time I find mirror match is boring, but whenever a character has very strong tools, but and very strong defense also, it's like how do they deal with their strong suits on both ends of the of the deal? There it is. That's gonna work that time for oh, Sensei, yeah. but the back dash instantly. We just mashing into that full string, able to get the hit. It works out incredibly well. Oh my Ooh, God. the baseball swing. That's gonna be a home run right there. And Babe Ruth coming around third base. And we got laid way back, cooking it up as we go into a situation where it could be two to zero in winner's finals. But Sensei has got to cook something up. Not been able to close here, it's been the issue. Not that he's playing bad, he's just not able to, you know what? I'm going to tell you right now, Jobber. The issue is that every situation, laid way back, is pressing a button, expecting Sensei to not recognize that he could keep the pressure up. It's got to be. Oh, my God. And there's the dash up to L. Big pick up here. Into the knockdown. Yeah, one more touch is all we need now here for laid way back to get that 2-0 lead. And there it is off of that big counter hit on the 5-H. Yoru in a position where we have to make a 3-0 comeback. This is going to be difficult. I'm going to go with you like this, man. I think after game number one, if you're Yoru, after taking that first L, yeah, you obviously have not been a 2B player the whole life of the game. You had to go back to your other main, dog. Like... The mirror match just wasn't worth it. And we can see that Laidway back just has something. He has a number on on Yoru. And, and Yoru just can't figure it out. Falls out of the sky. Instant buttons. Damage is happening. BP's missing, but the situation is in the favor of Laidway back. Right, stagger pressure there with the light, but just out of range. 
Later way back, not getting any pickup though. We didn't have the meter to follow up, but it's not looking like it's gonna matter too much. There's the throw, set point for laid way back, trying to cash in that golden ticket to grand finals. Did you see the frame kill button into the dash cancel grab right there? That was actually sick. So much sick stuff going on in this set. What an exciting mirror match we're seeing here. Trying to go for the stall in the air. Not gonna quite work out. Lay way back, fighting our way out of the corner. Coming over there, full string, no punish from Sensei. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, there we go. We got something going here with the lead. This is the opportunity to see a round go Sensei's way, he spins the bar. I'm not mad at it. We are not gonna get a kill. We're gonna be missing a BP, gonna get a hard knockdown. Does it capitalize on the hard knockdown? I think at this point with so much of a health lead, you just gamble it. See, I, I can definitely agree with that. But the staggered pressure is going to be enough here to close out our round for Yoru. This is the first step, but we still have a mountain to climb. Ooh, first run blood. up by laid way back into buttons from Sensei, and the corner is already here. But the double jump means so much for laid way back as he's going to get solid damage. Oh, trying to go for the black hole into the throw. That was really cheeky, but Yoru able to fight out. Very solid play, but coast to coast so swiftly as we get another SBA coming out from Sensei. Run up. Oh, man. Baited the jab, but didn't quite get the punish. And now an opportunity here for laid way back. Oh, guard cancel. Trying to go for the command dash, but going to get blown up for it. SSBA should be coming out. And that is going to be it. Laid way back with the 3-0, moving on to Grand Finals. Oh, oh I didn't do it. There was no Maybe time. The match is rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to have time to break down the matches because we just keep them rolling for all of you. Tega versus Iago, the final two out of three set of the night here. Loser semis. That's right. That's right. And here we are. It's beautiful to see Fairy make it as far as we have, and it's also just as beautiful to see Tega make it to this point. I just don't see, I don't see Tega as much as I would like to, and I don't see Fairy, I actually don't respect Fairy, to be honest. I don't think Fairy's that great of a character. And so to see her get this far is a, is a good sight to see. And my boy Tega back in here with the Lancelot forward, spot dodge, beautiful play, cross up, no punish, but he baits, and there's no BP left on the side of Iago. Let's see what he does with it. I think what he said, I don't respect her. I don't. I don't think she's a good character. I just don't respect her. Hold on, let's see. Right now Iago in a pretty strong position. Oh, double guard counter right back at ya. BP for BP, but at this point, BP doesn't really matter at the health deficit we're at, and the throw is gonna be enough to close out the first round for Tega. Nice day, says Lance's top five, while I've watched everyone through the tenure of Rising say that he's not even top 10, which I don't, I've never understood why he's not top 10, but I don't think he's top five. Oh, here we go, reeled on in, straight into GG. Beautiful dash. That is how you gotta play the, the matchup, man. You've got to use that four dash, man. You've gotta dash through her buttons and, and get your punishes, man. And here we go, sending out the orb. Oh, that, you know what? We'll take that, we'll take that. Just barely got tickled by the orb and is still able to escape from the corner. Gonna build up a hundred meter here, right into the SSBA. My goodness. Da, 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 da. There it is, yep, Tega, game number one, one. Tega's way, and you know, I ain't gonna lie, man, I don't be thinking Lancelot is really that cool, bro, but that outfit is sauce. Hey, Lancelot, you know, as a, as a certified King Arthur fan, you gotta have a little respect for Lancelot. Oh, swap to Vayne! Really?
Okay, that is crazy. Daddy Vayne coming on in. Does Vayne? Now, this is a character I don't think gets enough rest representation either. When like when he dropped, I was putting a, I was putting a lot of work in with him, and uh, I think he's really good. But he's also he's underrepresented. But I don't know how this matchup goes because nobody plays him. Yeah, I think he definitely struggles to rush down like this, like we're seeing right now, right? <laughs> uh, his get off of me tools are not the strongest, obviously. His ultimate reversal, it's a grounded DP, which is kind of one of the worst that you can have in terms Thanks. of, you know, getting blocked. So the vein swap, uh, maybe some signs of desperation here from Iago, already getting perfected in the first round. But well, let's see. We have an opportunity to bring things back. Okay. Pressure's going. I like it. Spin the BP. I just want to see. Ooh. There it is. There's the crab bait. Ah. Right. Yeah. Got a little bit more, but I'm not mad. Vayne definitely excels at his blowing up throw attack, for sure. For sure. He baits, he baits out Oki very well in any regard. Like, he does good against grabs. If he can get enough hard knockdowns, he can set up things for his, his shield setups. Like he does very well, but with no BP here, he has to make this game go his way. And then he made the right play. He was just too high up. Tega almost got out of the corner, tried to DP right afterwards. And if Tega plays this cards right, this should be the game. And Tega definitely knows how to play poker. Absolutely is. I respect the vein pick there from Iago. Neutral, and and if he's able to capitalize on the kills that he set himself up for. Yeah, I mean, time is going to tell. We don't got to speculate anymore. We're about to find out with the action. Three out of five set coming your way. All right. Arden being a little cautious there right off the bat. So we just immediately send it. Gets the pick up after the 6-6-L. What a grab from Sensei. Debate on the grab. Huh? This is going to be some good, solid damage. And me, myself, I'm interested in the Oki. What we got? Just jab, jab, and the clash goes take us away. Plus frames. Oh. He opted for the, the lower damage combo so he could get the plus frames. It was good. Empty jump low. Empty teleport low, if you will. And this should be game. He's going to be able to spin the SSBA if he chooses to. And there it is. I feel like he had like four to five routes to kill there, and I just didn't know which one he was going to go for. Something from success, right? Yeah. Here we go. Nice. Big punish there with the 5H. Mm. Dashed under the jab. I feel like I just learned something. I feel like that low profile of his jab. I walk back just a little bit there. And that's a classic thing with 2B, right? Is when you're in the corner, 2B is going to force you to block like a, a, a five light or something and then just walk backwards trying to whiff punish you. Her whiff mm -hmm. punish is so strong with that 5H. And a lot of characters can't do too much against it. A lot of characters have maybe like a, a 2U that could reach or something like that. That'll be quick enough. But a lot of the time, she's just going to blow you up for it. And there's that AA that I literally was talking about earlier. So maybe that is something he has to adjust to and stop doing that in round closing situations because we're seeing that Sensei is going to be ready for it every single time. Yeah, it's something that you did mention multiple times for sure. It was Tega's downfall in the first set between these two. Right now around a piece and Tega has a substantial life lead and the positioning. Oh, he tried to bait a grab right there, maybe a reversal. Didn't get either one, but now he has a meterless 2B that just double jumped him into a cross up and the corner. 50 meter on deck for Sensei as the pressure continues. 50 spent for Tega. Cross up on the jump, but the cross up button doesn't touch. Oh, no. Wow, it's okay. not the meaty fireball. Woo! Nice spot dodge there from Yoru. Straight into the guard cancel. Tries to go for the stagger there with the float. And then immediately disengages. That's right. You don't want to overextend. Both these players with a oh. loaded gun under the table. And Tega shoots first. What a wall jump. 
of all things he could have done, that was a beautiful play. And what is also interesting is another thing that we watched get blown up in the last set they played was the wall jump. He utilized it in a different scenario right there. It was normally in the uh, Sensei does pressure, backs off, he tried to wall cling, and then we would see Sensei go for an air-to-air, -air, Yoru. But this time, he used it in a whole different scenario and clipped him. What a play, watching these two players adjust to each other from collected data that they've had over their sets for the day. Absolutely, very well said. Yoru trying to put that data to work here. Got a nice confirm, putting Tega all the way into the corner. Chase is up, no wall jump for you this time. Stay locked down, there again, it is. beautiful neutral jump. Every time, man, that's what I was talking about, that he's back at it again with the white vans, man. You try to wall cling, he's not having it. Since they say, oh yeah, I forgot about that. They got you a game, but you're not doing it any longer. What a button press from Tega after the 6XL from Sensei, understanding he was going to go for a walk back. And he has an opportunity here, but it is going to be a tall order baited. He's got it. Oh my God, and he close out. Yes, he absolutely can. SSBA here is going to get rid of both of those BPs, and you're gone. My goodness. Tega, mama, there goes that man. <laughs> Now Tega trying to get a 2-0 lead here on Yoru, able to clutch out so many of these rounds, even when it looks like Yoru is playing out of their mind. Mm -hmm. Triple jab. AA, he has made that happen. He's made that happen multiple times. His counter hit conversions on the 2B. If you don't allow the second jump to come out, Tega's gonna make you feel something. And now he has corner. Double BP spent to get out of that take of pressure. Grab baited. Sensei spending the last of his BP for the corner carry and Yamash. Yeah, so we're, we're basically saying, like, we are going to win here, right? If you're going to spend your BP to get that corner carry, you can't allow it. I was going to say, you can't allow Tega to escape from the corner. But that's exactly what Tega does, and you are going to pay dearly for it. There comes the super Tega up 2 0. What is interesting is. He did the uh, ultimate skill beam, and I just, there's no way that I believe that that's what he wanted. There's just no way. So I think he was trying to reversal, and I can't figure out why he didn't get the DP. Uh, in the chat, you're asking why, how did the DP not work? He didn't do DP, he did the beam. That is unfortunate. Yeah, unfortunate indeed, but Yoru doesn't seem to be phased at all, Zip. <laughs> Just keep oh, it game. going. Yeah, getting hit by a GP though coming out from Tega. Mm -hmm. I am loving how ready that not only Tega, multiple players, I've been watching them all be ready for the dash cancel into the grab attempt. I don't know if I've seen it land. I think everybody's second. That's beautiful. Yeah, it what just a conversion. How, how much these players have been playing against this character, right? This character's been yeah. out for a long time at this point. And here we yeah. go. Blazer's not enough to get the kill, but we go for the hover once again to bait out the throw. And Yoru getting around on the board, but rounds are nice. We need games. That's right, that's right. He definitely needs games. He's down 2 0 here. Loser's finals. Has an opportunity to go to grand finals, but he has to win this one or potentially the next round to make sure that he stays alive on this side of the bracket. But Tega has been making it very, very difficult. Got the BP cancel. Jump into the corner, not what Tega wanted. I don't know what he was exactly Ooh. trying to do. Maybe he thought he was a little closer to the corner, but either way, still advantageous. Yeah, good damage. And for Yoru there, went for the tackle and ended up just getting blown up for it. It is not safe. Mm. Throw, dash on in again. Yep, that 5L into the walk back. He's trying to fish for a button press there to whip punish with the 5H. Big pickup spends the BP for the Raging Strike. Nice damage there with the corner carry. It's actually one touch territory for both, to be honest. Ooh. And the jump. What did he press? I don't know. Maybe trying to go for a 2H or a 5L. Just got blown up, unfortunately. Yeah. 
Five L is probably is. the most likely thing. That's a common button from Pega. True, very true. And he has been money on those AAs catching that that jump H coming out. So maybe he tried it, but it, maybe the range wasn't there with his timing. I don't know. But either way, it is two one take his way. Since they staying alive, after it was looking like it was going to be a clean sweep. Ooh, he tried to get nasty. He tried to go for a little flip out into the falling button, and Sensei wasn't going. That was clean. But either way, Sensei still gets put in the corner. Combo is in full effect. Yeah, but there's the combo limit. Actually using the combo limit as a pseudo reset. Tega able to hit the mark. Should be able to get the kill off of this as well with the super. Going to be set point. The way Tega stands there menacingly and just stares at you as you're flipping out of things is like at first i thought i didn't know what he was doing now i'm like he is like if you reversal if if you think i'm gonna grab if you think i'm gonna jump him not doing anything means so much i'm loving it Ooh. he gives no telltale sign of what his play is there's the reversal there on Tega's side. Cross up. Sensei says, I'm not having none of it. We're going back to the mid screen. I love it. All right, to the super. Not going to be enough to kill. But still, it's going to push Tega all the way to the corner, putting us in a good spot. We try to go for the command dash. We get blown up again. Yeah, that run cancel is just not worked out at all against Tega. He's not going. He's going to get a lot of damage here into a setup, into BP cancel. I'm not mad. Okay. Mm, air to air. It's just, ooh, it does a combo. Got to be really careful here for Tega. Has to play perfectly. Yoru's about to get 50 meter. Got to watch out for that reversal. And you saw we're just holding down back to try and bait it out. Definitely not upset at that. I completely understand. Oh. Yoru is really trying to set up. Oh, he's touched! He's touched! It's gonna be the round! The game for Tega! He wins! Three to one! Oh my goodness. It was such good defense there at the end from Sensei, but my goodness, the. Excuse me. About to cough my lungs out for a second. Going up against Laid Way Back. Another 2B. To be or not Am to I be. Victory? Oh, okay, okay. I don't know if anybody else noticed. On the screen as it was going into the match, it said Tega versus Tega. But we're going to let that go. That's just classic Grambler thing. <laughs> All right, here we are. Tega really setting up after that grab bait. Getting some solid damage. He wants the reset. You can see it baiting. The micro steps from Tega have been immaculate tonight. What's so interesting about this, too, for Tega in particular, with that perfect coming in right off the bat in Grand Finals, we just played an incredible set against the 2B, and now we're immediately going into another 2B. So not only are we hot on the sticks, we're hot in this matchup in particular, right? Layway back has been kind of cooling off while sitting in Grand Finals, so we'll see how that's going to play in. Did you see what Tega said in the chat earlier? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, we'll leave it at that. As long as you understand, that is hilarious, actually. Uh-uh. He tries to go for the over-the-top, laid way back, playing very good defense. Not getting opened up by so many uh, chances from Tega. And now, run-up grab, no good. Tega's definitely grab-happy, so the grabs could be exploited, but I think that his choice of when to press a button is a threat in that aspect. There's the AA that we watched fail him a moment ago. But he's very good at that, even if it is at range. Yes, yes, yes. And there, I love the way that we utilize the float there just to avoid the heavy fireball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Over the top. The defense, the patience from Laidway back. I'd swing in on back here and getting around in kind. Man, I am a fan. Laid way back, starting the pressure here. Tried to do a little double layered up there, trying to get two jump ins, but Tega said no way. Max height wall jump leads to the corner. Damage is being had. Uh -huh. Obviously, we know he's going to go for the fireball setup. Uh -huh. 
Yep. Bade it into, Arch yes, BP for chance. BP. Yep, just to make sure that you can stay with plus frames with your opponent's back up against the wall. Very smart play there from Tega. And is going to cash it out with game number one here with the SBA. Mm -mm -mm. I love the development of the game, whereas a lot of the time before people's plan was to press a sequence that they knew people didn't want to hold and they would spot dodge the, the guard cancel. Now, like, people can still do that in certain situations, but nowadays it's more so just BP for BP. They just go, you know what, cool, you spent it. I can react to you spending it. I'm going to keep you locked down. I, I, I like the development uh, that we're getting in this game. Yeah, I do as well. So exciting to watch. Exciting to play as well. There's the pickup with the hammer. Dashing right on in. Oh! What a shimmy. Blowing up the throw in a big way. Matega not perturbed at all. Gonna immediately send out the ultimate reversal, trying to take charge of this matchup. Matega living. Oh, the empty jump low. Uh, this is BA uh, in the future. Uh, I don't know. I think he might spend it here. Nope, he drops. BP for BP and the empty jump low. Again, let me get them toes up off you. I need those. I'm gonna take them to the house. Round up in game number two for Tega. Immediate teleport at round start is going to get blown up. That run under was so well placed from a laid way back. Force in the corner, but there's those button presses we keep talking about from Tega. He's just, he's paying near 100% for the tournament when he decides to jab, dude. It's, it's right every time. Plus frames. He doesn't go for the empty jump low, but the overheads are getting blocked every time, so maybe just keep going for the lows until laid way back shows you something. Every yeah, time. But again. But now getting blown up. Yeah, we're spending a little bit of that bar here so we can try and get as much corner carry as possible. Whoa, that actually whiffed! Tega wasn't even ready for the whiff, but we are able to get the counter hit, not converting off of it. Instead, just going for the dash where we get our back off of the wall. I like that a lot. Definitely. I'm not a fan of the meter spin, but there goes the other meter spin. I wasn't a fan of either one of those two ultimate skills that we just saw from Tega, but I know Laid Way Back is, and that's going to lead him into a situation where he can tie it one to one. Oh, 2H there at round start. Not going to get much off of it, though, unfortunately. Look at the patience here from Tega. He doesn't want to overextend. Recognizes how key this round is for him to be able to get that 2-0 lead. Teleporting right in over the fireball there from laid way back into the throw. And now again, teleport into overhead. We've seen it time and time again. You're right, Zip. It's the conditioning. Eventually, that empty low is going to come out. Yeah, he's definitely doing his, his job with that. And there we go. It's a lot of damage. This is going to kill. This is going to kill. I'm going to call this. No. What? Nope. nope. The laid way back is not in a good spot. And there Got it is. Him. The piercer. Who the heck do you think you're approaching? Tega approaching a reset. Hold up. Tega might do it. Honest Lancelot might be able to take TNS. Honest Lancelot. I definitely think he's not as strong as we have perceived him as. I just want you to know Tega's playing out of his mind. honest about Lancelot. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. You, you don't you don't make a character based off of a guy who uh, who sleeps with his best friend's wife and make him honest. Okay. <laughs> that just doesn't happen. That is hilarious. Oh, but there we go. Ultimate reversal. You know, one of the things I was gonna say earlier is one of the things Tega is disrespecting about laid way back that uh, I can't remember the other near I mean uh, two beast players uh, name that was doing it to him, but uh, he just played him. What was his name? I'm sorry. <laughs> Wow. Wow. I'm, I'm sorry. Hold that one for a second. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's Yoru. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sensei! Yoru Sensei. Yoru Sensei, every time he hit, tried to hit the teleport mix-ups on him, he was hitting him with the uh, with the reversal. And he's been disrespecting Laid Way Back. And Laid Way Back, in a round that we just watched him win, has finally presented that option. So maybe once the meter is built up, 
we'll start seeing less and less of that mix-up. But he's definitely been waiting for Laybait way back to show him that that is something he has to worry about against said player, not the matchup. Yeah, you are absolutely correct. Bottega is not going to be phased by it, right? Says you have to show it. You have to make it happen. Or I'm just going to keep going for my offense, keep going for my mix-up. Walks right into a fist, though, from laid way back. I really like that because right there he's been doing a lot of micro steps and laid way back said, no, not this time. As soon as I see the button stop being pressed, I'm, I'm mashing. Shut the fan. Down. Right off the bat. And immediately challenging, too, after the ultimate run through. Mmm. Spin that hammer. That's a lot of those hip spins. They're gaining back quickly as we get corner back dash. The best back dash in the game. Put in Tega to shame. Uh, not going to be enough to kill, but the setup is beautiful. Empty jump low doesn't work out. And then just immediately creating space, right? Don't overextend. You cannot overextend here. And there you go. The guard cancel going to whiff and the baseball swing from Laidway back, finally getting a point on the board. I like it. I like it. Laidway back. Has arrived in the set. Double jump. There it is. You have to present that because if he would have pressed that button on the way down, that's that counter hit we've been seeing take a get consistently in not just this set, in this matchup. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. It's meant to BP for this for conversion. I don't know if the damage was worth it, and I also think you would have got the corner carry, and you're going to throw out of the corner too. So we'll see how that plays out in the future of this. AA is there with the reversal. Reversal right back at you. Mm -hmm. Wake up buttons coming out from laid way back, and that's a good round. Ooh, and Laidway back is really swinging on back with a force here now. If we can take this all the way to a game five, we might be able to stop this reset. Nice first blood here from Laid as well. Okay, double jump with the flow, adding some layers to it. Baited the grab. Okay, what we got? Reversal. Tega not scared to let it rip. Crossover for the side switch. Wow, how staggered buttons are no longer working for Tega. Laid way back. So we're going to have to find out how Tega decides to deal with that in the coming games. But it's looking like we might have 2-2. And there it is. Laid way back. Tying it up. Trying to make sure that the reset does not happen. Tega needs to take this one to stay alive. Believe in victory. This is so incredibly close down to the wire. Just absolutely incredible adjustments here from Laidway back now. Not taking any unnecessary risks. Challenging there with the 5L. Right into the hammer for the guard crush. I love the pit usage from Laidway back to create as much space as possible to escape the corner. Got the long range button, but no conversion. Back throw is good. All right, guard cancel off. That's one BP gone, and nice with the fast fall there from Tega. Immediately swapping sides, put Laid right back into the corner. We're seeing Tega rip the rest of his auto combos uh, instead of staggering them now. So he's able to keep the pressure going. He's got the opening over the top this time. Frozen corner push. Extending the combo. Oh, and Ooh. empty jump throw. Reset point for Tega. That was mighty disgusting, if I do say so myself. Balls down with the, the non-invincible reversal. It worked out, but back into the nooch. Jump in is good, but no conversion from laid way back. Nice block on the cross-up attempt there as well, but is going to get caught trying to press. Again, spending that BP. There's the counter this time. Spends the BP again for the Raging Strike juggle. Yep, gonna get some solid damage. Back dash bait. Bro, hold up. You gotta be careful. We might be going to final game, final round. It might all be hinging on this. Oh, low fly into the empty low. Diabolical. Oh my god. That was right by the floor. Short cancel on the flight into the low. That was disgusting. Just, I feel like he was maybe one to two frames before he was able to get that float off. That was so clean. 
hold up. Here's the guard cancel. Stop short and baits out the throw. They are just back and forth trading offense. This is a good look. I will say for both players, but Tega has a chance here. There is no BP left. There's only one left for Laidway back. Tries to go over the top. It's going to be front side Tega ready. Air to air. No. Falls down and trying to get the cross up. Got the touch. It's definitely not going to be enough, but going to lead to a not guess for game because a grab won't do it, but a oh, baited. And that's going to be it. Reset for Tega. Wow. 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 Yeah, the moment that you see the amount of health that Layway Back has with only one BP, you just know right there that even though they have the life lead, they really don't. Okay. <laughs> no, for sure, bro. <laughs> for sure. You have not lied one bit in that statement. And now reset. Both players on loser side. And Tega starting off with full aggression. That was a really scary reset, though, right? Tega was able to get 2 0 right off the back. Laidway back, taking it all the way to a game five to that last hit situation. Is Tega going to be able to maintain his momentum? Right now, it's looking like it. Wall bounce is good. Uh, 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 uh. Nice. Baited the grab. Tega has put it all the way into the final gear. He said, if you got me into the final game, the final set, I'm going to show you what I'm made of. Beautiful check here from laid way back. Join, you still got something in the tank. Yeah, to the combo limit there. 19 hit chain. Oh, setting up the oars, but great response there from Tega. Immediately sending out the ultimate reversal. Patience to block the one coming out from laid and Tega up around here. You know, we have seen so many of teleports into falling button. I predict now that we are in the reset, we're going to see a lot more of those empty lows. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that. And I also like that that was actually the first time we saw the plus frame fireball from Tega into walk up nothing. He had a huge read that you had nothing left on your in your skill set besides throwing out that reversal. And even if you didn't, I was going to put you into a situation where you were going to get chipped out. So. Very good recognition from Tega. Fighting out of the corner is laid way back, but missing 2 BP with the health deficit, not a good look. Right there, the throw tech challenging right back. Look at these juggles laid way back, being put in dire straits. My goodness! I like it. I'm a fan. Are you a fan, Jobber? I am a fan. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you create an opportunity for plus frames. I'm ripping this bad boy. You broke my guard? Hold this broken game. And now Tega up 1-0 in the reset. Check again from laid way back. You've been finding those consistently in this grand final set. Dashing on in, tries to go for the 5 H into the baseball swing again. Nice counter hit there, anti-air from Tega, but isn't able to capitalize. Laid way back, landing immediately into a button. Mm -hmm. Tick throw off the low, I like it. Uh -huh. Double jump. Not even presenting the double jump or the, or the float, just hit two jumps in a row, I like it. But defense was so good from Tega. Uh, uh, uh. Yep, jump back, gonna get caught trying to stall in the air. Ooh, but this spacing, unfortunate there. He had to rip that reverse. Yeah, he, he literally dead. had to. It was gonna be chip territory, and there it is. He gets clipped. I would have that. I don't know if that would have that would have chipped him, right? He would have died. Yeah, absolutely would. Okay, and that's that's the hard part too, is because how do you react to that, right? That is like yeah. one of the fastest fireballs in the entire game. You would have to spot dodge it, but that would require like just expecting it to come. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, man. Even when it doesn't work, the fact that Tega is gonna press that button once you leave the ground every time changes the whole way that Laidway Back has to play the set. Mmm. Tried to grab and got blown up for it. 
Big damage here with the carry. Air to air, no good. Clash goes in the favor of Blade way back. Oh, I like the double jump there. Just trying to bait out a anti-air from Tega. Tega spending the super. That's a Not lot a of damage. Ooh. Hold up. Are you dead? No. I don't think so. No final touch scenario for both these players. And the no. back throw from Tega. Battle. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here for a set for the ages here at TNS Grand Blue. My goodness. How much closer could you possibly want this to be? Oh, no. Laneway back actually blowing themselves up there with the whiff cancels. Pushed yep. themselves out of range and got themselves crossed up. Very unfortunate. Oh, a drop. That's unfortunate for Tega. Didn't get the jab, so he wasn't able to lead into the 6XLs to, com to complete the corner carry. Now he is BP-less, and this is going to hurt. Oh, no. I still don't think that 2B can kill here. No, not at but, all. But still, yeah, one more touch is all you need, right? Mm. And there is speak of the devil. Laid way back, getting a point on the board. Time things up 1-1. Wow. Wowie zowie. Okay, okay. We got 1-1, one, one, guys. These guys are gaming at its finest. This is uh, some of the best Grand Blue I've seen in a minute. As soon as you leave the ground, I'm telling you, they're either going to have to start empty jumping or you're going to have to do the double jump because Tega is going to press that uh, that fierce. And if he gets that counter hit, he gets knocked down and so much happens after afterwards. Mm -mm -mm. Reversal, yes. I like also that in the corner is where he won't press it once you leave the ground. In the corner, he'll let it be what it is. And he knows when to be patient. This combo is going to do a lot. He's going to spend, yes. Ooh. Okay, the wall <gasps> back at trying to bait out that throw. But Laid does not bite. Literally, the only lacking thing in her kit is damage. Most characters would have been able to kill right there, but to be unable to, baited and degraded. Tega taking the round, first round here in game number three. Right. Again, the dash up into the 5L. So much of the pressure is structured off of that, right? It's just the mix up. 5L into walk back, 5L into 2M, 5L into throw. You are definitely right, Mr. Jobber. And doing his job. Laid way back, putting that 2B pressure on, keeping the corner, and even trying to keep it going after getting switched sides on. Forcing Taker to spin a BP, getting his way out of the corner. Backside, front side. No conversion. Oh, tried to go for the throw, but there's the reversal nice. from Tega. Jumping to the other side, into the throw this time as well. Oh, the late tech and laid way back, and I capitalize, getting another round. We are just trading rounds back and forth right now. Three. Jobber, I'm telling you, dog. I don't know if I've seen another Grand Blue set this closely contested, man. Maybe. Maybe if we go back and we look at a, a the Evo Grand Finals from uh, from the the final Grand Finals from the original Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. Uh -huh. That's the I don't think I've seen another one this closely contested. Uh oh, but here we go. Six six L into the confirm back up against the wall with the wall bounce. We're going for the full combo limit. There it is. Yep, drop right into the fireball. But again, the five L from Laid. That 5L on this character 2B is nasty. Yeah, it is so good. So good. Tega putting on the blender, but the defense from Laid way back was so strong for so long. Finally falters SSBA coming out from Tega. Here we go again in a 2 one position. Can Tega close this out and win from the loser side of the bracket? That was so 
clean. Air to air. Laid way back. Has to make something happen here. And he is definitely coming out with a vengeance to start this one. Got the low into a full combo. Set up. Got him. That is a cross up in the corner. You weren't ready, Mr. Tega. The first time we've seen that one tonight. But running right into the 5L. Tega again with the great presses. Oh, the box. And I love the meter spin from laid way back. I also respect the BP spin from Tega, but the air to air leads into a round from laid way back. Come on, let's take it all the way to another game five. All right. The double jump into the faded dash in. So oh, this music is very fitting for what we're seeing right now. 6XL, counter hit, gonna get the full confirm here for Tega. You are not lying. This music fits this perfect. <laughs> 2 M coming through there. Uh, 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 uh. Get your behind in this corner. That's what I do. I'm 2B, baby. You don't get to play mid screen against me. Uh. Wow, what a challenge there. Knowing that we would actually force Tega to block or we get the hit. Ooh, this is huge. Not gonna be able to kill here even with the super, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, so we don't go for it. Instead, we just go for the neutral jump to blow up the throw attempt. Tournament point for Tega. Tournament point and a point to stay alive for laid way back in the AA is a beautiful start towards that outcome. Right, jump in and there it is, Tega not having none of it. Not once, not twice. You cannot do it. The button press into the reversal. I don't even know if he wanted the jab, oh. but it still worked out for him. Yeah, here we go. Challenging right back. There's the guard cancel. Tega smells the blood in the water and wants it right now, but is it gonna get it? Laid way back, able to hit the mark, spends all of the BP though. This is not good. I'm telling you, yeah. Tega touches one more time in the right situation. This is over. His defense has to be strong right now though. He's able to get the wall jump and the check from laid way back is something that he's been on point with. Tega thought he had a punish. He did not. And he is now punished from laid way back. And we're going into game number five. This is it. It all comes down to this last game. Who is going to be TNS champion? Game 10. That is insanity. We have reached the mark. This is peak tournament play. I don't care if it's Grand Blue or another game. Every round, every single set, every game has gone down to the bucket. And the spacing here, the jump out from Tega. That wall jump has been so strong for Tega time and time again here in this tournament. Working out once more beautifully. There's the throw, spike back to the ground. Empty jump low and finally comes out from the teleport zip. He's finally done it. And it's gonna mean a lot to him right here. It is not gonna be enough to kill. And it leaves an opportunity for the same checkpoint that we have seen laid way back steal from him. Time after time, it's gonna be a lot of damage into not particularly a guess for game. A grab won't do it. Now it will. There we go. Ultimate run through though, but that is not going to be plus. Challenging right back. Oh my god, we're just spending the BP. Mm. Blocks the DP tournament point for laid way back. Tega has fought hard to get to this point. It can't all end here. We're watching the decisions. They're faltering, ripping that DP. After you've given him so much data, he understands that you don't want to block those final situations. You had no BP. He's like, he's not letting let you do that. The cross up from the gravity pole is here. Laid way back. Now has corner. He's been doing very, very well once he gets this in these later games. Right there's the guard gets on out. Only one BP left. Tega is gambling it all here. Gambling again with the ultimate reversal. It's gonna hit its mark. But right on back, laid way back, answers. Back is there. Laid way back, fighting for the corner. I like Tega not doing the full wall jump there and canceling into the ground. He knew he was gonna get air to air. BP spin. Laid way back with the back dash bait. And that is going to be it. Laid way back is going to take it in game 10 against Tega, your TNS champion.